Okay, problem 41 from chapter 4. Two muscles in the back of the leg pull upward as shown here. So they're each 200 newtons and 20 degrees off vertical. Find the magnitude and direction of the total force on the Achilles tendon. Well, if we look at each one of these, there is the 200 newtons in this direction. So the vertical component of this one is 200 newtons times cosine of 20 degrees. The horizontal component is 200 newtons times sine of 20 degrees. Well, if you look at the other side, right, the vertical component again is 200 newtons times the cosine of 20 degrees. And the horizontal component is again 200 newtons times the sine of 20 degrees, but it's in opposite direction. The result is the forces that are horizontal cancel each other out and we're left with a straightforward vertical force. All right. So how do we formalize this? F vertical equals F1 right, times cosine of 20 degrees plus F2 times the cosine of 20 degrees. And since F1 and F2 are both 200, this is simply two 400 newtons. Well, I'll do two times 200 newtons times cosine 20 degrees equals 400 newtons times the cosine 20 degrees. What is that? Uh, let's turn to Excel and get that answer here shortly. Okay, so we have 400 newtons. We have the cosine of radians of 20 degrees and we have their product. 376 newtons. Ah. 376, 376 newtons. That's the total vertical force on the Achilles tendon. Uh, and again, remember, the horizontal force, let's just put it here formally, the horizontal equals F1 sine 20 minus F2 sine 20 equals zero, right? No horizontal force. Vertical force is 376 newtons. Um, this causes the toe to move downward. And by the toe, I mean not just the toe, but the whole front of the foot, right? The whole foot flexes downward. This is the force you would do to stand on tippy toes. All right, that's it for problem 41.